Influential U.S. Midterm Elections U.S. midterm elections are often seen as a referendum on the sitting president's policies. While a president is elected every four years, midterm elections take place two years after a presidential vote, or halfway through a president's term. While the president is not on the ballot, the entire House of Representatives is up for election, as well as roughly a third of the Senate, along with numerous governorships and state legislative positions. Here's a look at some of the more influential midterm elections in the past 150 years, all of which led to a change in the party that controlled the House. 2018. When U.S. President Donald Trump was elected in 2016, the Republican Party held a government trifecta. They controlled the presidency and both chambers of Congress. After the midterms in 2018, Republicans lost 42 seats in the House along with their majority. While they were able to keep control of the Senate, their loss of the House had profound consequences for the president. The new Democratic chamber opened a slew of investigations into Trump and later voted to impeach him on two separate occasions. The Republican-controlled Senate acquitted him both times. 2010. When President Barack Obama first took office in 2009, Democrats controlled the presidency and both houses of Congress, including a 60-seat filibuster-proof majority in the Senate. Two years later, the Republican Party, bolstered by the conservative Tea Party movement, won a majority in the House. The Democratic Party lost 64 seats, the largest midterm loss in the chamber since 1948. Democrats also lost seats in the Senate, but retained a slim majority. The result was a gridlocked Congress for much of Obama's next six years in office. 1994. Two years into President Bill Clinton's first term in office, Republican House leader Newt Gingrich helped his party take control of the chamber for the first time in 40 years with a conservative agenda laid out in his Contract with America. Democrats lost both the House and Senate as voters backed the contract's goals of less taxes and reduced government. Clinton had a contentious relationship with the new Congress, with debates over spending leading to lengthy government shutdowns. But the two sides came together to pass welfare reform and a balanced budget. 1946. During the midterms in 1946, Republicans capitalized on the public's discontent with the post-war economic policies of the Democratic administration of Harry Truman to win both chambers of Congress. The election ended 14 years of a full Democratic congressional majority that began with Franklin D. Roosevelt's election in 1932 during the Great Depression. Freshman members of Congress elected in 1946 included two future presidents, Democrat John F. Kennedy and Republican Richard Nixon. 1894. The largest turnover of seats in the House since the start of the modern party system in the mid-1800s took place during the midterm elections of 1894. Democrats lost 124 seats, which at that time was 35% of the chamber's total membership. Republicans won over large numbers of voters in the South, Midwest, and West by blaming the Democratic administration of President Grover Cleveland for the country's economic depression. The election ushered in Republican control of the House for the next 16 years.